Hi everyone, so this is the second video for the first lesson of partial fractions. So this is our next example. Um, so if you look, I've got three, three linear factors this time. So I'm going to have three. Um, Fractions. Each one gets its own letter. So I've got A over the first factor, B over the second factor, C over the third factor. So I'm going to take my shortcut now for the um, for writing it. So I'm not going to write the full common denominator multiplied through each bit and then cancel down. I'm just going to say what's missing. So I've got the x plus 2 here. So if I look at the common denominator, I'm missing the x plus 1 and the x minus 3. Then looking at b, I've got the x plus 1. So I'm missing the x plus 2 and the x minus 3. And then look at c, that's x minus 3. So I'm missing the x plus 2 and the x plus 1. So I've got three different brackets there. Thinking about the numbers I want to use, well, if I've got x plus 1 is 0, because remember I want to think of it as 0, I'm going to use x is minus 1. If I've got x plus 2 is 0, I'm going to use x is minus 2. Uh, then I've got, oh, got this one here, haven't I? I should use the other one, really. Try and move that over there. There we go. Pretend to do it on purpose. Now I've got x minus 3 is 0, so x is 3. So them are the numbers that I want to use. I've got three different numbers to use. So if x is minus 1, I've got three lots of minus 1 plus 1, which is minus 2. Uh, if I put minus 1 in the a, it disappears, because the x plus 1 makes it 0. Um, so for the b... That would be a minus 1 plus 2 and a minus 1 minus 3. So I've got a 1 times by minus 4, so I've got minus 4b. Uh, C, if you look at C's 1, that's got the plus 1 in it as well. So that would disappear because a minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So that means that I've got a half uh, for B. Why do I think I've got this wrong? No, I haven't. I was looking at the question above, which has got b is 2, there. Right, so try my next number. So I'm going to try x is 3 now. So I've got 3 lots of 3 plus 1. So I've got 10. Right, so think about this though. So I'm putting in a 3. So I put a 3 into the second bracket now. It gives me a 0, so a disappears. If I put a 3 into the second bracket of b, it gives me a 0, so b disappears. So I'm left with C, which is a 3 plus 2 and a 3 plus 1. So that's going to give me 5 times 4, 20 C. I'm going to get a half again for C. Uh, yeah, that's cool. And then the last one I'm going to use is X equals minus 2. 3 lots of minus 2 oops, plus 1. So that's going to be minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. So think about putting in the minus 2. So the minus 2 will be fine on the A. So that would be A lots of minus 2 plus 1, minus 2 minus 3, which is going to be, so it's going to be minus 1 times minus 5 is plus 5. Yeah, so that's going to, well, hang on a sec, I'm not too much yet. The rest was disappear, but let's have a look. So if I put a minus 2 in the first bracket of B, that makes it a zero, so that disappears. And if I put minus two in the first bracket of C, that makes a zero and it disappears. So minus one is A. There is another method of doing this where you can expand and compare coefficients. I'm gonna do that. Right, so now I need to write it out with all my numbers in the right place now. So from there, oh, my light's just gone out. So what we have, so three X plus one, x plus 2, x plus 1, x minus 3, 
And so A is minus 1, so that's minus 1 over x plus 2. B is a half, so that's a half of an x plus 1. And C is a half as well, so that's a half of uh, an x minus 3. Now then, these numbers can just go at the front there. There you go. And I always, because people don't like this, but I always think of, if you've got a half and you divide it by two, that's a quarter. It's the same as two times two. So I'm just at that number there, that's all. So if you're not happy with it, that's the justification for it. So I'll write it again, because I like writing things a lot. So x plus two, x plus one, x minus 3, minus 1 over x plus 2, 1 over 2 lots of x plus 1, plus 1 over 2 lots of x minus 3. There we go. So there must be some questions. There must be one for you to do on the next page now. Let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. So I've got me three factors, three different um, fractions, a over x, b over x minus 1, c over 2x plus 1. There. there we go. Hopefully you did that one all right. And that's the end of the first lesson, so it's a big consolidation exercise. Potentially, for most people, this will be used as a lesson instead of the monitoring on Monday. So will you please work on the consolidation exercise as well? Okay? Sorry about that. Bye-bye.